Yes, Theresa May is going to be outlining her next Brexit steps today as she tries to find a way to break the Brexit deadlock. She'll be making a statement to MPs this afternoon following talks yesterday with her cabinet. In many ways, though, it sounds like nothing has changed because last week we were in the territory of cross-party talks. Today, uh, Theresa May's position again seems to be it's all about going back to Brussels and trying to get some tinkering to the backstop, that uh, position that would come into effect in the event of no future trade deal between the UK and the EU to stop a hard border with Northern Ireland. So. The talking goes on, but how much is shifting uh, is unclear. Let's bring in Catherine Haddon from the Institute for Government. It's a think tank working to make government more effective, and she joins me now. Hi. Welcome. Um, when you look at what is going on in that building behind us, what do you think? Is this parliament at its best or its worst? Because there is so much process going on, so much talking, and yet the overall picture hasn't changed, which is we still don't know where we're going right now. Yeah, I think you can argue it both ways because... Obviously, for many people, there's huge frustration that we've seen lots of arguments about what, pe what MPs don't want to happen. But at the moment, not really any kind of clear picture about what they do want to happen and any sense of majority coming together to, to find that. We might see that in the next week or so. Meanwhile, there's a lot of process issues that are happening, a lot of procedural stuff that could be viewed as a sort of game playing. It's certainly shedding light on some very arcane parliamentary procedures. But on the other hand, for years we've talked about the fact that majority governments just can sort of bulldoze their way through. At the moment, we are seeing Parliament having to work together. We are seeing backbenchers playing a really meaningful role at the moment. You can talk about the fact that Parliament is, is you know, having its heyday over this. It's just that it's not finding the policy solutions that we need to find. And backbenchers in many ways trying to wrest control from the government with various amendments, things that they want the, the House to vote on that would yeah. potentially give more power to MPs to decide what happens. Um, some of that has been described by constitutional experts as constitutionally dangerous because of where it ends up going in the future. What are your yeah. thoughts as you see those those manoeuvres? I think, I mean, at the moment, it's it's almost too late. Uh, you know, the, the, because this has been proposed as a uh, thing that might be able to happen, this idea that backbenchers will be able to table their own legislative um, uh, work to get through Brexit. Previously, that was the government that was only able to do that. But it really depends, A, how they use it and also how it's interpreted in the future. Remember, none of this would happen were it not for the fact that this is a minority government that is, is holding itself together through support from another party. Um, and if that wasn't the case, then we wouldn't be talking about any of these issues. So it is in a minority government, Parliament does have this kind of control. Whether or not the particular uh, changes that they want to put through will have the kind of lasting effect it really is partly up to how Parliament interprets this and what it does with it in the future. Theresa May's position is obviously still to be absolutely sticking with her agreement, which she, she says is the best way through when you've got people who just don't want to be leaving and people who want to leave without a deal. Do you think she can strong arm it in the end? It's really difficult to tell because, you know, she's got not just uh, the, whether or not she goes for the, the DUP and the hard Brexiteers in her party to think about. It's also whether or not by doing so she loses some of her MPs from the other side. So she's got a very narrow number to, as we saw with that confidence motion last week, uh, she's got a very narrow number of her majority that, you know, that's cobbled together through different parties, the DUP and and her own Conservative Party, which at the moment is very close to fracturing on this issue. So it's really going to depend about, you know, how she manages it politically, but also whether or not the cast of characters in involved really want to sort of make a, a more, you know, extensive move away from, from her position. Catherine Hannon, thank you very much.